have the right drivers and everything set up, you can use it to monitor wireless or wired networking. And so here in Wireshark, I actually have an interface set up to monitor wireless networks. So I'm going to go ahead and just select that interface and we'll click on start and you will see immediately it starts capturing this data. Well, what is this data? When you communicate on a network, the information that your application is sending across the network is encapsulated in what are called frames. When it gets way down in the OSI model that we'll talk about more later to layer two and layer one. And so in the 802.11 wireless networking standard, you have what's called a wireless LAN frame or an 802.11 frame. And what that simply means is we put some bits before the data and some bits after the data. We put it in a frame. We're putting bits before and after the data and those bits mean something. And so at this point I can stop my capture and we can actually look at the results of what we have here. So here if we click on this one beacon frame it's called which in wireless networks is a special kind of frame that access points transmit and those frames tell the stations what features the access point supports. So for example if we go into our beacon frame we can actually see that in this case it's sending out to broadcast, so it's going out to all devices, and it's coming from Netgear. So already we know something. This access point is a Netgear access point. I know it without ever walking over and looking at it to see a logo or a name. It's in the frame. Why? Because it's in the MAC address. So a MAC address identifies, as you know from your studies of networking, an individual device on the network. Well, Netgear, all of their devices start with a collection of different numbers at the beginning of the MAC address. The same is true for 3Com, for Cisco, for Intel, and so forth. So we can know the manufacturer based on the MAC address. And then if we go into the management frame further, we can actually see some parameters that tell us about the network and particular the capabilities. So when we go into the capabilities, we can see that this is an access point that's transmitting. We can see that it can support WEP or encryption in other words, we can see that it supports something called the short slot time. Well, that may not mean a lot to you if you don't know a lot about wireless networking, but it has an impact on the data rate or throughput of the network, whether it supports that or not. And so as we look down through the list, we can see these different features of the network just by looking at the actual frame that is being transmitted.